Hi everyone, this is Ms. Mayorga. I am going to be going over lesson seven in this video. Before we get started, make sure you have your Code Studio open, that you're logged into Code Studio. You're looking at lesson seven and make sure you have your digital notebook open. You're definitely gonna need to use this for today's lesson. So go ahead and pause the video, open up these two things and then play the rest of the video. All right. Hopefully you have it open. You need, again, your Code Studio open and your unit notebook. This is going to be lesson seven, page 21. Let's go ahead and take a look. Let me zoom in here and see what we're going to be doing. Lesson seven, your personal style. How can you express your personal style on a web page? Learning objectives. Similar to what we've been doing, use CSS selectors to style HTML text elements. Link to an external style sheet structure content using paragraph headings and list text all right so we're going to be working on your own style today if you don't remember how to get to the lesson page 22 goes over that again like always um, but by this time by this point you should know how to get to the lessons but if you forget here is the instructions on page 22. all right let's go ahead and check out page 23 in our notebook what do we have to do instructions for this lesson Code Studio, Unit 2, Lesson 7, complete bubbles 1 through 6. Skip bubble 3. Pay attention to that. We're skipping bubble 3. Read instructions below for each bubble. Bubble 6 will be graded, and it's due by next class. So if you don't finish in class today, that's going to be your homework or whenever you're watching the video, right? But if you don't finish it in class, then that's just going to be your homework. Bubbles. Uh, so here are the instructions. You'll see the rest of these pages in your notebook. 23, 24, 25, there are instructions for each bubble. So let's go ahead and get started. Make sure you click uh, lesson seven, bubble one. Go ahead and click bubble one. All right, that takes us to the overview. Again, our question of the day is how can you express your personal style on a web page? Now, in this description, it says that students created their own styled web pages. No, you did not create your own yet. Um, I made a web page for you that you're going to recreate. So again, follow the instructions that are in your notebook. All right, let's go ahead and click continue. Okay, CSS review, we're on bubble two. Hmm, I'm not sure what I need to do. So guess what I'm gonna check? My notebook, all right, check your notebook. Bubble one, I already did that. Bubble two, complete activities C, align text, and D, change font family. All right, so we're gonna complete two activities in this bubble. Activity C and D. Let's go ahead and start off with activity C, align text. Do, do, do. Okay, align text. We want the names of the authors to align to the right side of the page. Do this. Figure out which tag holds the author's names. Add a rule set for that tag to move it to the right side of the screen. So in the end, we want it to look like the picture that's shown in the instructions. I'm gonna collapse my instructions so that I have more space. I'm gonna click this little up arrow, and now I have more space. Let me zoom in on my code a little bit. Okay, so I need to figure out what tag is connected to the names. What tag is connected to the names? You can look through your code to see where you see Helen Keller, or you can use the inspector tool. And that highlights the code for you. That's H3, let me double check the other name h3 all right so that means that i have to style the h3 tag that's the tag i need to focus on now let's go to our style.css file on the left side where all our files are at i click style.css h3 h3 is here i need to write a line i need to change the alignment of the font so we're going to uh, here's what i did again i went to the first line first statement I went to the end of it and I hit enter just so I'm on a new line. I'm on a new line. Make sure that you're within the curly braces. Um, and then this is where we're going to type in our align property font hyphen. Wait. Give me a second. I have to remember what it is. Oh, it's text align. I'm sorry. There we go. Text align. So many tags to remember. 
by memory. You don't have to memorize them. There's a whole document for you, but I was just trying to remember. So um, excuse that little brain fart there. It's going to be text align, text align, colon. Don't forget the colon, the two dots. And we want it to be text align to the right. All right, so you can click on right. It'll type it for you, or you can type it out, right? And then semicolon, don't forget that semicolon at the end, all right? Don't forget that semicolon at the end. And as you can see, my screen already made the changes. If you copied my code exactly, but your screen has not made the changes, go ahead and click the purple refresh and save button on the right side, refresh and save. Okay, and that's, let's check the instructions. I believe that's all we need to do. Yep, that's all we need to do for this activity C. So this is another uh, property that you can change on your own web pages. If you want to align the text to the center, to the right, to the left, this is what you would use, text align. Okay, let's go ahead and click finish. And now we're going to do one more, which is D, change font family, change font family. So this is gonna show you how to change the font of the text. Change the font family of both the heading and the text. There are several font families, including cursive, fantasy, serif, and monospace. Do this. Add a rule set for one of the heading types to make it a different font family. Add a rule set for the paragraphs to make them another font family. So we're going to change one of the headings, one of the heading types, H1, H2, H3, whatever's used. We're going to change one of the heading types to a different font, and we're going to change the paragraph to a different font. I'm going to collapse my instructions. I think I'm going to change the main heading and that would be H1. So I need to change my H1 tag and I'm going to change the paragraphs because that's what the instructions said. So let's go ahead and go to style.css and I need to add my code here. So first I'm going to start off with H1, open curly brace, space, open curly brace. Enter two times and oh, close curly brace. Now I'm going to go in between and I want to change the font. So this is going to be font hyphen family colon. And here you can choose what font. I'm going to go with cursive for the main title, but you're welcome to explore some of these other ones. I'm gonna go with cursive. And don't forget the semicolon. I do this a lot. I've seen a lot of you do it. You forget the semicolon. Don't forget the semicolon. The reason you need the semicolon is because when you create, when you're changing multiple properties, the computer needs to know that they're separate. And that semicolon tells the computer, hey, this is a separate statement. This is a separate change that I'm making with the semicolon. So don't forget that semicolon. All right. We've got H1. If you want to do that with the other headings, pang, pangolin and dole, if you want to do that with those, you would just change the number. Those headings are H3, H3. So instead of doing H1, maybe you could do H3, right? Oh, I actually kind of like that better. I kind of like that better. Yep, I'm going to keep H3. So all I did was I just changed H1 to H3. It's up to you. Not a big deal which one you do, H1, H3, as long as you're changing one of the headings. Okay, now let's go ahead and change. Why is it highlighted? Oh, because I'm having inspector tool on. There we go. Now we're going to go ahead and change the paragraph font, the paragraph font. All right, so we need the selector, which is P. Open curly brace, enter, enter, close curly brace. Now we go in between. And we're going to change the font family of this as well. Font hyphen family, colon. And this is where you get to choose the font for the paragraph. Um, I'm gonna try fantasy. Yeah, I like it. I'm gonna stick with fantasy. And I'm gonna click the semicolon. Don't forget to add that semicolon at the end. All right, don't forget the semicolon at the end. And that's it. We changed the font of uh, one of the headings, H3, and we changed the font of the paragraph. So I've followed the instructions here. You're welcome to do other fonts, right? But these are the ones that I chose. Once you finish, go ahead and click finish. 
And then we're going to continue on, click finish. And now we're at bubble three. Let's take a look at our notebook again. Bubble three. Skip this bubble. Woo! Okay, we're going to skip this bubble. All right. Don't worry about this. It introduces some concepts, but you don't need to worry about it. So go ahead and click finish. Continue on to bubble four. Bubble four. Okay, this is where the real work starts. This is where we set up everything that we're going to need in order to do um, bubble six, which is going to be graded. So this is kind of where we start the serious work. Okay. Bubble four. Bubble four. Let's take a look at our notebook. We're done with bubble three. Now we're moving on to bubble four. That's page 24. Page 24. Let's take a look at the instructions. Page 24. Copy and paste the web page below into bubble four. Make sure you paste it in between the body tags. All right, in between the body tags. I've said that so many times. That's the one thing. In between your body tags. Okay. Where are you pasting it? In between your body tags. In between the body tags. Okay. I think you got it. Use the HTML tags we have learned to recreate the web page below as best as you can. Click here to access the list of HTML tags. So if you forget your HTML tags, you can go ahead and open up that document and that'll take you to the HTML tags we've learned, All right? Paragraph, headings, unordered lists, ordered lists, and so on. Luckily for this page, you only need paragraphs and headings. All right, let's check it out. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. So this is the web page that we're trying to recreate, right? Just like we did in a previous lesson, go ahead and highlight the entire page, the entire web page. Go ahead and highlight it. Copy it, Command C or Control C, copy. Go to Code Studio. Look for the body tags, the body tags right here, body in between the body tags, in between the body tags. Go ahead and click paste or paste it. Control V or command V. Control V or command V. Now you have all your text in here, right? You don't have to type everything out. All right, just copy paste it. Now you have all your text in here, but your task is now to organize this so that it looks like our page here. So let's take a look. What do you think would be the easiest thing to start off with? Maybe the headings, maybe the paragraphs. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the paragraphs, right? Because all of these are paragraphs, so they're all gonna need paragraph tags. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my Code Studio, look for my paragraphs, and I'm gonna add opening and closing paragraph tags. Open paragraph, go to the end of that paragraph, and close. Again, if you need to pause my video at any point to catch up with the typing, you're more than welcome to, right? Next paragraph, go to the beginning, open paragraph tag, go to the end of the paragraph, closing paragraph tag. Remember that backslash comes first, all right? It's backslash and then the letter. So double check that, please, double check that. All right, done with that paragraph. Next paragraph, a coming of age story for all my block. All right, go to the beginning of the paragraph. We're adding the opening paragraph tag. Go to the end of the paragraph. Add that closing paragraph tag. All right. I'm walking through you. The, well, I'm walking through these steps because what I'm looking for more in this lesson is your styling. Are you able to style? So that's going to be the next bubble. Okay. So that's why I'm, I'm helping you structure this web page. If you know how to do it on your own, you can fast forward the video and then just go to the part where you need help. All right. But for those of you who need a little extra support, you can keep going with the video. Oops. I'm almost almost out of time in this part one. Okay. Let me go ahead and add another paragraph tag. I'm just talking too much. I talk too much. Uh, and then go to the end of the paragraph and close it. All right, so we added our paragraph tags, which is why we can see that some of these things are separated. Okay, um, this is where I'm gonna pause because I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to go over the heading tags. So all I did was add the paragraph tags. Do, 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 do. All I did was add the paragraph tags. Um, and then part two, I will go ahead and go over adding the heading tags to make it look even more like the page in your notebook. All right, so I will see you all in uh, part two of lesson seven. Goodbye, everyone.